Hello and welcome to the video channel for whiskeyblogger.com. This is the second in a series of three video interviews that are recorded following my visit to Ballykeith Farm Distillery in County Kilkenny, which is in Ireland's southeast. All appropriate government health guidelines were complied with at the time of filming. In the first video, we met Morgan Ging, who is the owner, manager and distiller at Ballykeith, and he told us about how he made the move from Irish farmer to distillery owner. In this second video interview, Morgan takes us on an exclusive behind-the-scenes Access All Areas tour around Ballykeef's grain-to-glass farm distillery and he's going to show us how they make triple distilled Irish whiskey and recycle the spent distiller's grains to feed their farm animals. And in the third video interview, we get a world-exclusive first look at Ballykeef Distillery's very first whiskey release. Seven single casks of triple distilled, single pot still Irish whiskey are being released and uniquely each cask is bottled at 46% ABV for drinking and also at cask strength. This exclusive distillery first release will be available to buy online from the distillery online shop in March 2021. But first, spending exclusive one-to-one -one time with an artisan distillery owner is also an ideal opportunity to see at first hand how triple distilled Irish whiskey is made all the way from grain to glass. Morgan started by showing me how they mill, malt, mash and ferment the grain from their farm into the whiskey wash or beer, which is then triple distilled in copper pot stills. So this is our grain here in the bag. Okay. This grain is, is grown on the farm. Myself and my son do a lot of the farming here together. Uh, we, we plough, we till, we sow, we harvest, everything is done here by ourselves. And we get it malted by Minch Malt in a tie, comes yeah. back to us in these one ton bags. And we take it from there into our mill room, which is here. Okay. And we mill it and it goes into a vessel at the back called a grist case. Okay. Okay. So you've heard the comment, uh, grist to the mill. Yes. Okay, so this is a very important part of the process now because you don't want that grist to be too fine, yet in all you don't want it too coarse. Okay. Or you won't get the, the alcohol extract from it. Okay, and this is exposing the inside of the malt grain. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's, you're, you're going to extract the, the starch which becomes sugar. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now we have our, our grist. Our grist. So we also, for our pot still whiskey, we use unmalted barley, okay. our own unmalted barley as well. So we have a 60-40 mix on that. Okay. So we have here in Ballykeef, we have a, a mash vessel and a loutering ton. Our mash vessel is where the grist is, is added into. This is our mash vessel here, Stuart. Okay. And our grist is added in here with water. Okay. Okay. So we raise the water temperature in four stages till we get a full conversion from starch, from the starch, okay. okay? And it's quite easy to know when you have that full cons conversion. We take a small sample out and we put it onto a plate of the liquid. Then we add a little drop of iodine on it. And if, if it turns black, the starch is not fully converted. If it stays its beautiful color, then the starches are converted. Okay. So, so okay. then we transfer it across into this here. This is a loutering ton. Basically, this is a big sieve. In the bottom of this is a plate that yes. has little holes in it, like a sieve. And the grain and the liquid are transferred in here. And what we want to do is extract the liquid. That sugary wort is what we need to extract, okay? And leave the grains behind. That liquid will transfer across here to one of our five fermenters, which come free. Okay, what size are they? These are double-sized fermenters. They're uh, 3,600 litres and they also have a one-third expansion for foaming and frothing. The stiller's grain then is, is taking out from here and goes straight out 10 meters outside the door to feed our beef animals. Brilliant, okay. So, okay. That's, so that's, that's the first part of our uh, sustainability. Yeah. So then we go up here to our fermentation. Okay. So these are our fermentation vessels and this is where we add in our yeast. Normally it takes 72 hours for the yeast to break down the sugars and convert it into alcohol. Uh, we will wait uh, an extra 24 hours to get full conversion, which also helps with the flavour profile of our spirit. Time is money in this industry, so you need to get it through as, as fast as possible. 
But at Ballykeef, we've made a conscious decision that the spirit is, is more important than time. We will make the best spirit that is possible to make. Morgan then brought me over to see their three copper pot stills and he explained how still design and shape can influence the whiskey that comes out at the far end. We have three copper pot stills handcrafted for us specifically for Ballykeef by Barrison Industries in Italy. Oh yes, heard of them, yeah. yeah. So we asked for extended long necks on our, our stills mm -hmm. so we could um, have more copper contact for our spirit. We like a very slow distillation process here at Ballykeef, so we can extract the alcohol without too much uh, volatility. Okay, and I see the angle as well uh, of the lime arm, it's, it's kind of uh, horizontal. Our angle is horizontal, there's actually six millimetres of an incline on, on our line arm, yeah. which will give us a very balanced spirit. I didn't want a light spirit and I didn't want a heavy spirit. Okay. So uh, we, we have it just more or less level so we can get a, a nice balance between the two. Starting with the larger wash still, Morgan then brought me through the entire triple distillation process that's involved in making Irish whiskey. Our wash still is 1,800 litres. Okay. Our intermediate still is 1,200 litres and our spirit still is 1,200 litres. 1,200 litres. Yes. So our, our, um, it takes two distillations on our wash still to do one distillation on our intermediate and it takes two distillations on our intermediate to do one distillation on our spirit still. Uh, with our spirit still, when I'm running that, we do what's called a very high cut here at Ballykeef. We always, as you, you know, you have, must take out the, the heads. In layman's terms, you have heads, hearts, and tails. Yeah. Heads are the, the poison, which we must remove. Hearts are the good stuff, what we like to drink. Tails are the low vines, which will give you the, the nasty burn and the headache the next day. So at Ballykeef, we take quite a, quite a high cut. We try to remove the majority of the tails from our spirits. Okay. Uh, we're in the premium market and Ballykeef will always sit up in, on top shelf as a premium spirit, whether it be our gin, our vodka, or our whiskies. Yeah. And of course the tails can be recycled, say, with water and material as well. Indeed, and there are flavor profiles in the tails. So when you bring them forward again, due to the chemical reaction that happens in the distillation process, you will extract those, those uh, notes that are there and it'll deepen the profile of your spirit. And it keeps continuity going from batch to batch as well. Indeed it does, yes. It does. Yeah. And then of course the, the cuts are all made here in the spirit safe. This is our spirit safe, yes. Uh, our cuts are made here. And we end up in this tank here. It's, it's normally between 79.8 and 79.9. We're, we're, we're quite constant with our ABV on our spirit. Ah, okay, so I didn't realize that. We're actually walking on top of all this uh, new make spirit. New make spirit, yes. Okay. So this is our, our, um, our spirit tank, it is full. Zoom in. Wow. So actually what's in there is 100% unmalted rye. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, we, we grew this on the farm there last year, this year actually, yeah. and uh, we, we decided we, we did a previous run last year of a malted rye, 100% malted rye that we grew on the farm, so we decided to do a run of unmalted rye to see how we could extract the flavours and what type of flavours, and I'll give you a little taste of it shortly. And as we finished our walk around of uh, Ballykeef Distillery, Morgan showed me how they prepared their whiskey for casking. So these are our, uh, these are our two blending tanks. Okay. We use this one here is for our gin, yeah. and this one here is for our whiskey, our new make spirit. Okay. So we, we blend back to 63.5% and then we cask at okay. that. At 63. At 63.5%. 63.5%. Okay. But we will allow it to uh, settle for two days in this after we blend it back to allow it to cool. It, it, the temperature does rise. You can physically feel it rise a little bit when you add the water and blend it back. So we allow it to cool for two days and then we cask at that stage. Well, I hope you enjoyed that fascinating behind the scenes look at how Irish whiskey is made in Ballykeef. In the final of my three interviews, uh, Morgan will grant us an exclusive first look at Ballykeef Distillery's initial whiskey release. Now, prior to my visit, Morgan had sent me tasting samples of all seven of these casks at 46% and also at cask strength. 
Each of the seven casks being released uh, were distilled and casked at the same time and they produced quite different maturation results. In the next video, Morgan explains why and he also discusses the unique Ballykeef whiskey house style and explains how whiskey making is really a blend of science and also the art of the distiller. These unique whiskies will be available to order online in March uh, 2021 from Ballykeef's online store and we'll include full, full details of how to reserve and buy them at the end of our next video. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my whiskey blogger channels on YouTube and Vimeo. And you can also catch up on the latest whiskey news and stories from around the world at whiskeyblogger.com and follow me on social media at whiskeyblogger. Thanks for watching and launch you from Stuart.